16 years old male patient presented with shortness of a breath, hypogonadism, and absence of secondary sexual characteristics. Laboratory assessment revealed low thyroxine level, cortisol, and adrenocorticotropic hormone levels, which are consistent with adrenal insufficiency without hypoglycemia. The insulin-induced hypoglycemic tolerance test finding indicate growth hormone deficiency. How about the bony age? And what is the next step? Okay. Yeah, we have uh, a preview uh, of the wrist joint uh, showing uh, the presence according to the bone age. Uh, presence carbal, uh, carbal bones يعني كابيتيت هامات موجودة ال تراكويترام لينيت سكافويز ترابيسويد وترابيزيا موجودة يعني according to this age تقريبا just the physical not for less than يعني less than 12 uh, less than eight, according to the now scaphoid present, is trapezium, trapezoid, uh, so uh, more than six years. Okay. Um, AP view of elbow joint uh, showing the epiphysis of capitalium present, head of radius present. Um, And um, I don't see olecranon. This is not, not seen. So according to the elbow, uh, also near seven years. So less than the, uh, the chronological age. Yes, so the age sixteen guilty, age sixteen years old. Okay, sixteen years. Seven years, according to this X-ray. Okay. Uh, what's the next step? So uh, the MRI. Show the deficiency of growth hormone. Okay. MRI of يعني شو نسوي طلاب عاد فحص أي. MRI. This is the MRI. Okay. Ali Al Sagittal section. Okay. T1 pre contrast time we can have a key a shuffle. T1 pre contrast time we can have a key. I have a bad idea. I work here at the level. No, I is not a multi sequence MRI showing and I'm the issue for interior pituitary gland is small in size. Small pituitary gland. Uh, oh, uh, why it's a bright spot? Yani I think it is ectopic posterior uh, pituitary gland. For any, no, and then posterior pituitary gland, um, so we had effect in the abnormal hormone, the like growth hormone deficiency. For any, it's smaller for bone, uh, bone age. بعد والله أمشي شوية بالسكشن خل أشوفه بس حاليا أنا أشوف posterior ectopic posterior pituitary gland bright okay. spot in A يعني the bright spot in abnormal position
Recording in progress. واش قالت حجم ها قصتيها الانتيرات بيتي تاع الكلاند تقريبا هذا اللي يطلع حجمها يعني small size anterior pituitary gland وectopic posterior pituitary gland يعني اللي infundibula هم I didn't see infundibula stuck I don't see stuck of pituitary gland okay yeah نعم stuck in conclusion ectopic posterior pituitary gland yeah اي نعم يعني صار عنده deficiency بالgrowth hormone و abnormal bone age smaller for the expected يعني expected يعني interruption صار هم interruption syndrome مال نعم استاذ شنو هذا interruption syndrome uh, interruption syndrome هو يعني congenital abnormality صير هايبوبلاستيك هايبوبليزي بالانتيريا بيتيتاري جلاند والستاك هم يعني اتروفايد واكتوبيك بوستيريا بيتيتاري جلاند شكرا مينا دكتورة صفاء عطرة ويانا دكتورة صفاء تبين ترى تبين نعم استاذ صباح الخير صباح النور your opinion بابا okay we see um, MRI of the brain and pituitary uh, region uh, multiple sequence uh, we see a small pituitary gland mostly anterior pituitary gland and we see a bright spot of the posterior pituitary outside the Uh, cellular region, mostly in the medial eminence. Um, so mostly go with the pituitary interruption syndrome since we see the pituitary outside the, uh, its uh, normal location. <clears throat> yes. So what is this? What is this? This is pituitary uh, interruption syndrome. Uh, so we see uh, abnormal pituitary region, and we see posterior pituitary outside with abnormal uh, pituitary region. And we see most of the cases with the abnormal uh, uh, first growth hormone deficiency, as we saw in the bone aging of the patient. And later on, they will develop um, pan hypopituitarism. Um, yes. And what uh, what's the management uh, do most for of, this? Yes, and most of them, uh, they are medical management in form of the hormone replacement according to defective hormone. Yeah. Thank you, Tevin. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Okay, Amu, uh, Magina, who was 16 years old patient, presented with short stature. We have a request for MRI. We have a ectopic posterior pituitary, the infundibulum usually thin and hypoplastic. We have a pituitary interruption syndrome. We have a X-ray to the bone age. وشفتوها الاكس راي اوكي اذا عندك توك شيري اوكي اكتوبك بوستيرا بيتوتري 
Ectopic posterior pituitary usually presents incomplete caudal extension of the diencephalon during embryogenesis of the pituitary gland and is one of the more common causes of pituitary dwarfism. Although it can be an isolated abnormality, num numerous other congenital central nervous system malformations have been identified. When associated with a thin or absent infant debulum, and hypoplastic or aplastic anterior pituitary gland, the term pituitary stalk interruption syndrome is usually used. PSIS belongs to the spectrum of midline anomaly, encompassing septo-optical dysplasia, septum agenesis or corpus callosum agenesis, optic nerve hypoplasia, and pituitary deficiencies, and holoprosencephaly. Clinical presentation, usually the patient presented with uh, pituitary stalk syndrome uh, in the first decade of life with deficiency of growth hormone, resulting in growth retardation. What can initially present an isolated growth hormone deficiency may progress to multiple pituitary hormone deficiencies with the eventual development of panhypopituitarism. The, pre the presentation of posterior pituitary function. During the neonatal period and infancy, the signs and symptoms are often not evident. Therefore, the diagnosis is usually delayed. A number of additional features may be encountered later in childhood, including learning difficulties and seizures. Pathology and embryology. Pituitary usually arises in the four to five weeks of life from two ectoderm, rathic pouch and the new ectoderm, which upgrows to develop into pars distalis, pars intermedia, and pars tuberalis, and, and down the growth of the diencephalon floor, which form the new neurohypophysis. Pars nervosa, infant debulum, and median eminence. From the sixth week, the erratic pouch usually separates from the uh, oral uh, uh, epithelium by obliteration of the craniophalangeal canal and proliferates predominantly anteriorly, fully structuring the adenohypophysis by the tenth week. Environmental and genetic teratogenic influences the pathogenesis. It is possible that influences such as low cholesterol level, maternal diabetes, and coexisting molecular defects is implicated in the pathogenesis. Radiographical feature, usually X-ray to confirm the bony age. Uh, this is an uh, illustration of the X-ray. <laughs> Showing by the uh, age of three months, the uh, capitate and the hamate. By the uh, one year, the distal end of the radius with the proximal phalangeal epiphysis usually evident. By the age of two years, the distal metacarpal head is usually evident. By the age of three years, usually the truquaterum is evident and the middle and distal phalangeal epiphysis usually evident. By the age of four, four years, yeah, the lunate will be evident. By the age of five years, the trapezoid and trapezium will be evident. Uh, six years, the scaphoid will be evident, and the age of seven years, the uh, distal end of ulna will be evident. And finally, and lastly, the pisiform usually uh, appears by the age of 13. Ossification centers of the elbow usually use the mnemonic crito. The C is for the capital lump, which usually ev evident by the one year, the uh, head of radius by three years, the internal epicondyle is by five years, the truquetera by the seven years, Olicranon is by the uh, nine years and external epicondyle by the 11 years. Uh, as we saw our patient's x-ray, usually there's a marked delay in bone age. Uh, here and there is uh, no pisiform is evident. 
MRI is usually required for the diagnosis and demonstrate absent or hypoplastic anterior pituitary gland, thin or absent infant dibilum, and ectopic posterior pituitary. This is a sagittal section T1 showing a slight anterior pituitary hypoplasia, a thin pituitary stalk, and ectopic posterior pituitary, which is shown by the uh, arrow, white arrow. This is the reference, and thank you. Thank you.